Okay, so we're back at the sewing machine, continuing our our French dart because um, I'm not exactly for sure what happened with my camera, um, but I think it either ran out of power or filled up too much space. So um, I was finishing up a seam line when my camera showed when my camera shut off, and I kept talking for a little bit, so I didn't realize that I missed some video. So I'm just going to back up a little bit. Um, I think where the last video left off was I was doing. Um, doing the stitch line up to the um, up to the top of the dart from the side seam, and so what I did was I went ahead and tied that knot off there, and then I what I did was I came back with my snips uh, with my scissors here, and I snipped all the way in the the seam allowance here that we had created um, on our French dart, and I snipped all the way into that reinforcing stitching. Um, I didn't snip through the stitching, but just right up to it, um, and so the. There's really not that much left to do. Um, what you'll do is you'll then uh, come back and press this to the side. And I want to put a little disclaimer <laughs> on what to expect uh, when you go ahead and open this up. Now I did this pattern and I have never in my life made a pattern uh, for a French dart. And it is not perfect by any means. Um, there's actually, there's not enough seam allowance that came from the side down from the armhole. So um, for today's sample, we're going to have to call it good enough. Um, but this is not in an ideal world what this French dart would look like um, because our side seams should be matching up. And, um, you know, according to what I have here, we're probably about a good inch and a half off. And that's my mistake. That's my pattern making mistake. Um, you know, I wanted to try to get these patterns done and ready for you guys to be able to trace after class on Tuesday. And I didn't have a chance to go through it until, um, you know, actually physically assemble a piece until now. So. Just know that this is not this is not perfect, but you're doing the construction techniques um, that you would use to complete a French dart, and it does give us that curve, which is what we're looking for. Um, it's just that our side seam um, <laughs> happens a little uh, sooner than what we would like. So um, I'm going to work on repatterning that for future classes, but for for today, um, this is just it's going to be good enough. And so what I would do is. I would just go ahead and you know redo this, um, do this step again on the other side, and and call it a day. I guess call it done on this sample, and then you'll just have your tuck, um, your tuck, tuck dart left. Thanks.